I'm not sure if you got any of that, but let's just try that again. Welcome to Thursday Night Spotlight with Pastor George. I'm Pastor George, and I'm glad that you could join us tonight for uh, this Thursday Night Spotlight with Pastor George. My guests tonight will be Emily Whitley and Caroline Coniglio, both high school graduates and both getting ready to go off to some next steps in their life. And so, but those things are very, are very different while there are some similarities. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy hearing their interviews that I conducted with them earlier in this week. And um, uh, we'll be sh running those in just a few minutes, so hang tight. Also, I'd like to let you know that this coming Sunday, we'll be meeting online again virtually at 1030 at this YouTube channel. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and we encourage you to do so. That way you can get notifications of any upcoming uh, broadcasts and also just be reminded about Sunday morning worship. Uh, you are able to chat in and converse in that manner, and we really encourage you to do that because it's, uh, it's a way of uh, connecting and having relational aspects to our live stream. Also, we'll be meeting in public or in person as well, so if you're comfortable coming out uh, to the community center, we have a pretty, pretty well set up a nice socially distant uh, seating arrangement, and we're cleaning before everybody arrives, and we've reduced a lot of the touch points, and so it's a you know, as reasonably safe as we could possibly make it. And so we invite you to come out and invite you to wear a mask as you're coming in the front door and greeting people and talking to people. And once you get to your seat, if you're distanced from other people, if you feel like you'd like to remove your mask, feel free to do that. All right. Uh, this week we'll also be providing coffee. So this is the first week for that. So at 10 o'clock, I know you guys like to have your coffee on Sunday mornings and sit around and chat and talk with people. So it won't be self-serve coffee bar, though. You'll have to go up to the counter and uh, tell the people who are helping you what you would like them to be. They'll be wearing masks and uh, they can fill your coffee cup, add your cream and add your sugar if you want. And so that's coming up this coming week. Let me share with you a few words from Matthew. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Mark chapter 12. Uh, Jesus teaching, uh, one of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating and noticing that Jesus had given a good answer. He said to Jesus, of all the commandments, which is the most important commandment? Jesus answered, the most important one is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Well said, teacher, the man replied, you are right in saying that God is one and there is no other but him. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And from then on, no one dared to ask him any more questions. So Jesus seemed to really indicate that this man was not far from the kingdom of God because he understood how important it was to love God with all of your heart and to love your neighbor as yourself. That those things were more important than burnt offerings and sacrifices, more important than religious rituals and traditions, that loving one another is, uh, is crucial. And we're really being tested with that right now, uh, being tested with the uh, um, reminder to love one another. As people have differing views about things and as people are um, confronted with different ideological thoughts and political thoughts and different thoughts about how we handle the virus and different thoughts about how we handle some of the inequality that's been talked about and seen and some of the responses to that. I think for us, loving one another is really something here that we can focus on. And when we're loving one another, loving our neighbor as ourself, we are not far from the kingdom of heaven. So just some encouragement on that tonight, and I hope that is some encouragement to you. So my um, first guest this evening is Emily Whitley, and I had a chance to interview Emily after worship on Sunday, and we did our best here to uh, st stay socially distant in the particular setting that worked for us as we recorded this. And so Emily and I are talking about her recent graduation and about what she's planning on doing. So uh, here, here is Emily Whitley. All 
All right, well, our special guest tonight is Emily Whitley. And Emily and I have known each other for several years now, and I'm very excited and happy for her as she has graduated from high school and she's getting ready to move on to the next things in her life. And so I'm interviewing her today so that you can hear about some of her accomplishments, some of her hopes, some of her dreams, and what makes Emily special. Uh, and there's lots of things that make Emily special. So I want to just uh, so turn to Emily and say, uh, Emily, um, Emily um, I know it was kind of a crazy school year this year, year and you're a graduating year, senior, you're graduating senior, 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 I think definitely it was disappointing that I got that I had to miss a lot of important school events that I really planned on going to, like prom, oh. silly things like that. That you know, you kind of think you want to remember about high school, but I did get to do an in-person graduation. It was much smaller, so that was a really nice thing. It was much more personalized. My mom and dad and Abby wasn't supposed to be there, but she was there. All got to come. They had a professional photographer come in and take pictures of my parents handing me my diploma oh, instead fun. of our school principal or something. So it was much more personal in that sense. And it was all other kids who were planning on joining the military. So there's definitely a connection just kind of with all of us because we all know what we're walking into with our futures. Yeah, well, that sounds uh, sounds nice, like making the best out of a situation that wasn't uh, wasn't ideal. I think I remember seeing a really nice board that had like all their graduates' pictures on. Like, uh, maybe it was that in front of the high school with you know like a sign board or something. I thought that Redland went really out of their. Redland gave us all like yard signs for our front yards. They distributed those back in maybe April when everything was just beginning to slip, like get closed off. Um, what else did they do? On their Instagram and like Facebook pages and Twitter pages, they highlighted all of the seniors as well as on June 6, our actual graduation date, what was supposed to be. They did a senior highlight video for both Cedar Cliff and Redland with just a little info about all the students. Oh, that's nice. And all of that. So they did really make their best effort to make us all feel special and make us all feel like we were graduating. They're also doing in-person graduation ceremonies on July 10th now oh okay yes so it will be like a to like m and m to z something like that they'll split it up and they're going to do it at our football stadium instead of farm show complex mm. or the auditorium like they did for my graduation okay so uh july 10th you will not be around i will not where are you going july 6th i leave for basic training in fort sill oklahoma with the united states army so you are in the Army now. I am. As of June 16th, I am in the Army. Oh, man, Emily, I just th never thought that you would have registered for the Army. I don't know, uh, signed up for the Army, not because you can't do it, just because I just didn't expect that. So what, uh, what brought that about? It definitely wasn't what I was expecting to do in the beginning. I was planning on going to college, but the cost of college is a little bit too expensive. It's outrageous. Yes, it is definitely outrageous. And with the Army, I can get tuition assistance while I'm in, the GI Bill afterwards, also, the job opportunities are great. I can come out of the Army if I decide to just stay for my five-year contract with probably a bachelor's degree as well as job qualifications to come out and do a job for any three-letter agency because my job is a top-secret intelligence job. I'm going to be a cryptologic linguist. Cryptologic linguist? Yes. What does a cryptologic logic linguist do? They don't tell me very much about what I'm going to be doing. They'll be sending me to language school out in Monterey, California for two years. I'm going to be learning Iraqi Arabic, and then I'll be translating and all of that. It's probably more entailed, but it hasn't been completely, completely discussed since it just isn't. I don't know, it's hmm. national security, I guess. Well, I can ask for a glass of water in Arabic. I think I'll be learning a little bit more than a glass yes. of water, but yes, that's always helpful. Uh, yeah, Mumkin istamil il hamem. I think from my time in chat last summer, I can ask how are you, which is kikev, and then you say afe, afe, just over and over. That's about it. That's good. Yeah. I can also say I love you. That's good too. So, yeah. And about that. I do love you. Oh, well, thank you. But I think it's supposed to be applied to like your spouse or something. Most likely. Yeah, so. <laughs> 
Anyway, uh, well, that's exciting, and we are going to miss you, um, but we'll try to follow you and find out what's happening and hear from you, hopefully. Um, and uh, we're very proud of you, and you, I know you'll serve the United States Army very well. Well, thank you. I'm sure it'll serve you well, too. And I know that whenever, whatever you do when you uh, are out of the Army, you'll be successful and uh, happy about that. So what are, uh, what are some of the fears that you might have as a result of going to the Army? I guess basic training is one thing. I'm going to be in Oklahoma in the middle of July. It is going to be very hot and running and a lot of PT. So that's a worry. Um, language school, a lot of people do tend to fail out of it just because it is very hard to learn a language. But I I do well with languages. I speak Spanish. I know some French. Like language is something I can pick up. So failing out is kind of a thought in my back of the mind, back of my mind, but I'm pretty sure I'll do okay. So I think Emily is going to do really well. Um, one thing I know about Emily is she works really hard, sometimes harder than she needs to, baby. <laughs> Every once in a while, I tend to do that. Yeah, and uh, she's, she's very smart, very bright, so uh, I'm sure she's going to do fantastic. I'm learning to, I'm trying to learn to speak Spanish, but I'm using the Duolingo app. Have you heard of it? Yeah, Duolingo is interesting for Spanish. I started, I don't know, I was randomly using it. I'm like, oh, we'll see how much Spanish I know. And then it bores me. I'm yeah. like, I, I can speak more Spanish than this. I need a little bit more of a challenge. Well, some of us, <laughs> some of us like to take baby steps, yo, and uh, yo hablo <laughs> espanol poca. Un poquito espanol, sí. <laughs> so anyway, well, okay. Um, so what, what day are you shipping out to? Uh, July 6th is when I'll officially fly out, and then July 13th is when everything is supposed to start. I don't know if they're going to have a self-quarantine or anything before. That's still kind of unknown, mm -hmm. just because different branches are doing different things with the whole coronavirus situation. So. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's not very long from now. That's like two weeks, maybe a little 15 more. Fifteen days. Fifteen yeah. days. What are you going to do in the next fifteen days? I will be spending time with family as much as possible. My little sister will probably be tired of me by those the end of those 15 days, but she'll miss me so. Well, your little sister, I think we have a picture of you and your little sister. I'm not sure which one it is. Let's see if it's this one. Oh, that's you. That's not that, your little that's sister. Not Abby, but she took that picture. Okay, well, what are you doing here? You're just uh, like a senior picture kind yeah. of thing here. So it's uh, very nice. Uh huh. And let's see what else we got here. Let's click that one off. I think it's this one. No. Well, not this is upside one. down. What does this say? That is my cap, which says, off she went to change the world, and then next to that is my oath of enlistment paperwork. Oh, okay. Well, I think this is true. Off you are going to change the world. <clears throat> I'm sure you will. And let's see. Uh, maybe it must be the last one then. <laughs> I would hope so. Ah, there you are. Oh, that's, uh, I should move it over here. Nobody wants to see me. They want to see, they probably want to see you. There we go. Cover the old guy up. So there's your baby sister, right? In front of the, uh, is this on the high school? Yeah, Southside that's the high school. right outside Redland. That was probably before or after my little graduation ceremony on the 5th. We took some pictures. So uh, what are you most excited about uh, being an uh, adult? I'm not completely sure. I'm excited that I'm going to have new adventures and I'm going to be able to try new things, but it's also just... So, big change, you know. I've lived at home my whole my whole life, and now I'll be off in Oklahoma and then California for two years, just by myself. So that is a very big change. College yeah. is one thing, you know. You can still write, you can still text people, call them, but basic training. It'll be letter writing once I get those privileges back, and then off to California. Well, we're excited for you, Emily. Is there? Uh... <laughs> Anything that we can uh, do to uh, send you off in a good manner? Um, just keep me in your prayers with everything going on. The whole coronavirus situation, all of that, that I actually leave on my ship date and that everything goes well the entire time that I'm in. So. All right. Well, I want to pray with you now if I can. Okay. All right. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you for Emily. I thank you for her family, for her mom and dad, and for her sister Abby. God, I pray your blessing on them. This is a difficult time uh, to uh, say goodbye uh, as... Uh, 
Emily gets ready to go off to the army, and uh, there'll probably be some tears, and there'll probably be some anxiety over there. I pray that she would be uh, not only an effective linguist in the army, but that she would be an effective um, person to share the love and the light of you uh, in, in, in the context that you have her in. I thank you for her, I thank you for our friendship, and I thank you for uh, the privilege I've had and the privilege our church has had of knowing her over the last several years. God, just bless her, and thank you so much. Uh, for Emily and her success at high school and now the next steps in her life. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Emily, thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad you could be here today for this episode of Thursday Night Spotlight with Pastor George. All right, well, thank you very much, Emily. You did a great job on that interview. We're so glad that you could share with us about what's coming up. Uh, it's pretty cool that you are great, uh, already very good at language, and you're going to be uh, an important top secret linguistic person for the Army. So that's great. Well, next up, uh, we're going to hear from Caroline Coniglio. Caroline graduated from Camp Hill High School, and uh, while we're interviewing her, um, her dog might make a cameo. So check that out. Thanks for joining us tonight for our interview with Caroline Coniglio. She and I are sitting together and chatting about what's going on in her life. And uh, Caroline is very gracious to uh, have us share and chat with her for a little bit. And I want to hear a little bit about Caroline and we're going to ask her some questions. She's going to tell us a little bit about uh, how our school year ended. We know it wasn't like the best and also uh, what she's planning on doing come fall and also whatever else that she wants to talk to us about in the next uh, 15 minutes or so. So uh, Caroline, uh, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. I wanted to um, invite you to maybe share a little bit um, with us about yourself. Tell us maybe who you are, who you live with, what you love yeah. to do, that kind of stuff. My name is Caroline Candiglio. I'm 18. Um, I live with a lot of people in my house. I have my dad and my stepmom and my two step siblings and my two biological siblings and a dog named Wendy. Oh, Wendy. <laughs> Let's see if we can get Wendy. Wendy's laying at Caroline's feet. There's Wendy. Oh, such a good dog. <laughs> okay. Oh, there she's leaving. Bye, Wendy. Oh, Wendy. <laughs> now Wendy's now Wendy's right here. Right here with me. Look at the camera. Okay. Oh, uh, I was... That's great. Oh, you're a good girl. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that sounds sounds interesting. So, um, kind of a new new house here for you. Yeah. You've been here not about around a year, maybe. Yeah, like right? almost a year or something. Okay. And um, you were still uh, moved out of the Camp Hill School District, but you were still able to to go to Camp Hill. Oh, yeah. for your last year. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Tuition, but it was all worth it. Uh, There's no question when we moved that I was going to. Yeah, because like your whole life, right? I mean, since kindergarten, yeah. Lots of friends there. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, like you uh, and many, many others, yeah. like every high school graduate, I think, in our, certainly in Pennsylvania, but probably across the country, mm -hmm. didn't quite have the end of the school year that yeah. you had hoped to have. So why don't you tell us like a little bit, maybe some of the disappointing things, and also maybe there was some sort of nice kind of unexpected surprise that was a result of the way the school year ended. So with our school, we still had online, but the nice thing about it was it was optional. I, I know a lot of other schools, it was mandatory. You had to go to Zoom classes, but Camp Hill didn't do that. Um, so I think one of the nice things was that I didn't have to do like finals or any final essays. And also it was really nice because of the three marking periods, I like worked really hard in school and had really good grades. So. It wasn't like I had to do that optional work in order to bring up my grade for the last semester. So I basically had summer since like March 13th, which is really nice. Um, but I don't know, I just like the social life is really upsetting. Like you don't see everybody anymore that you used to see. And especially with graduation, I only graduated with like three people. So like um, in early March, that was the last time I ever saw those people again, kind of. I mean, now, but so it's very interesting to see. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you're probably staying connected to some of those people, yeah. texting and, and people whatever else. Just, like in school friends, it's just, you don't really connect. Anymore. It's unfortunate, but 
we're all going off to do our own thing, so. I know, that's hard to imagine. Yeah. Um, I've known you for a long time. <laughs> a long time ago. You were uh, just a little girl when I met you. I don't remember, let's see, well, 15 years ago. So, <laughs> so you're... 18 now. Uh, you're 18 now, so yeah. you were just three. I can't believe you were that young, but yes, you must have been. So, and you've really grown up uh, a lot, and uh, it's been fun to to get to know you guys and your family. I love you uh, all very much. Um, and uh, let's see. Well, um, so the school year ended, and right, I remember like graduating from high school. Like some of the fun things were like school musicals and and yeah. yearbook signing mm -hmm. and walking on the yeah. Yep. So we any to do that. We have um, possibly. I don't know if it's set in stone yet, but like a real graduation that will be August 1st. So like we'll get to be on the field and walk and you know, but like we already grabbed our diploma. So I'm kind of in like the college mindset now. I'm like, I'm ready to go to college. Yeah. Like let's just get off and do this. So it'll be interesting to like graduate high school in early August and then two weeks later go to college. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, yeah. it'll be interesting. That's like uh, our friend Emily who yeah. already aired on this episode, mm -hmm. right? She graduated from high school and now she's going off to uh, the army here right. in just another week or so yeah. so it's like not a much fast. Yeah. not a lot of breaks yeah so you are going to college show us your uh your do you mind showing us that yes. your mortar board here this is your hat right yeah what does it say it says mama i made it and then my college millersville university class of 24 24 yeah awesome i'm yeah. sure i'm sure she's very proud of you yes, thank and you. yeah yeah so um, Millersville University, mm -hmm. yeah. So of course you know that I am an alumnus of Millersville yeah. University. Um, graduated thirty years before you will. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do math, but yeah. I didn't think yeah. Nineteen ninety four. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. No, that's not true. I graduated in ninety three. I take that back. Oh, ninety three. Yeah. So. Um, uh, I graduated from seminary um, uh, after that. Well, I'm getting confused now on the dates. I'm so old, I can't remember. <laughs> but uh, 93, so it'll be 31 years. Oh, mm -hmm. goodness. And uh, I loved going to Millersville. What are you, yeah. you going to study there? I'm studying marketing, um, so business. My roommate, her name is Sarah, she's also doing management. Also I love the campus. And I like how it's also affordable. They invest their money very well. So I'm really excited. And they got swamps. I know. Swans. Are they still named Miller and Seville? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We had swans too. Yeah, they have to replace them a lot. Something was going uh, well, I'm guessing that those swans aren't the same ones. Yeah, probably not. I think when I was there, the swans died. Um, and There's they got new some, swans. Like, students at this thing. Yeah. But they're angry. Yeah, angry. Too close to him. Dad, that's why they're called foul, because they're in yeah. a foul mood. They're always all angry. The time. It's because the students mess with them. They make them angry. They could be so sweet, but they're not. Well, um, what's uh, what building are you going to be dorming in? You don't know. I don't even know. I know I'm in a double suite though, so that means I have my roommate and I are in a room, and then we have like a hallway living room area that divides us, and then two other roommates. And each room has one bathroom. So oh, I don't nice. have to use a community bathroom, which is yeah. really nice. That sounds a little different than yeah. when I was there. We had a payphone in the hallway. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> we still so, have to pay for laundry, though, with quarters or a card. I don't know. Oh, quarters. Yeah. I have to start collecting them. Remind me to tell you a story about quarters and laundry later. Okay. I can't tell you right now. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. So going off to marketing, any ideas what that's going to hold for you? I mean, your dad kind of has like a marketing background, yeah. right? He's I like a... Oh, my dad. He walks so I can run. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm really excited about it. Marketing is kind of just like, like what I would kind of want to go into in marketing is like, you go into a store and you tell them, listen, these are your sales. One is growing and it is getting more popular than the other, so you got to start producing more of this product. Mm. So. Well, so um, so following trends and figuring out how right, to yeah. uh, mm -hmm. maximize that. I mean, you're a little bit of a trendsetter, I understand. Yeah, I'm really into fashion. I'd love to go into fashion marketing, but Millersville only offers marketing. I'm going to internship with you. Yeah. 
Oh, so, okay, yeah, so f fashion, um, like, do you think you'll go off and, like, work in New York City or something? Yes, and do I, like, want to go to New York City right when I'm out of here, although that's, like, not going to happen, because that stuff, and everything kind of got, going to be fixed by them, but. Uh, the world has really changed a lot. Really, yeah. Lots of different ways. In the last year, yeah. Um, I don't know if things won't, I mean. People say I'll never be the same again. I think maybe stuff will get back to normal yeah. eventually. Yeah. Right? Eventually. I don't know. I feel like I'm starting to accept the new normal for sure. Like, Millersville came out with a thing, like, we're going a week early, and then after Thanksgiving, like, done going back. It's your family, you know? All that. Yeah, bring all the yeah. journeys back to exactly. campus and try to so, avoid that. And then we have, like, two weeks of online during um, first semester. But I don't know. It'll be interesting. We have to wear masks all around campus now, and some bigger classes are online. So I told my roommate, I was like, we just gotta accept this as our new normal for a little bit, and then hopefully we can go back yeah. to some of the old things. But some things are. Just... But you are going. Yeah. So it's not I like online. Going. It's not online not learning online. or anything at this I'm, point. Yeah. I'm going on campus. Well, I hope you're going to have a great time. I know that too. you're going to study hard and learn well, and you're also a very social person, and we'll enjoy, enjoy that. And I'm sure you'll make great choices, mm -hmm. uh, the best that you can, and you'll have a great experience at, at my old alma mater, <laughs> right? Um, so get involved, I think, is like one of the things that yeah. people always say, right? Get involved, get involved, get involved. So I'm sure you will. So what are you uh, doing this summer, getting ready for that? Um, I work at Corlett Eatery. I'm a manager there. Uh, yes, very exciting. I haven't been there yet. I'm going to try it out very one of these good. days. You guys got to go. It has like salad bowls and grain bowls. And we got sides. We got everything's gluten free on the line. So there's like these sweet potatoes. Oh, everything's so good there. Um, so yeah, it's right next to the 7 Eleven um, and also Mission Barbecue. Yeah. yeah. And a giant mattress store too, which doesn't really work with the plaza, but no. it's all food stuff. But then there's giant mattresses. How many mattresses can they put in there? I don't even it's not know. super huge. I feel like those kind of stores are dying though. I feel like everybody orders stuff online now. So. I want to get one of those mattresses that rolls up, right? And then those oh, compressed oh, yeah. ones, yeah. And then you just pop it open and it goes. <laughs> that sounds yes. pretty cool. Well, okay, so maybe we'll come out to Corley Feedery, and yes. we can find you there almost every evening. Yes. Right. I'm there like every night. That's why we're not able to do this live on Thursday know, night because you're always working. I could have gotten a table, I guess, at Core Life Eatery and tried to interview in, in between customers. <laughs> Might have been fun. All right, so you're working, saving up. Yeah. Um, anything fun this summer that you're doing? Um, well, I went to Long Beach Island the other, I went from Wednesday to Friday. Um, that was really fun. I got to see my Harvey Cedars friends who I met at the Bible mm -hmm. Conference. I met them in 2018. So, still reconnect to this day. My dad and my mom fell in love there when they were 16, which is Damn crazy. Man. I've been to Harvey Cedars. It's so nice though, it's so beautiful. So I didn't but... fall in love there. <laughs> I was already married. Um, I, I was a counselor. Yeah, I worked there for six weeks back in 2018 as a waitress. And I met these really close friends and we still get together once a year. So I told them and then um, in August, I'm hoping I go to Ohio to visit one of my dad's college friend's daughters. And I'm getting a tattoo on Friday. Oh. It says, Love never fails on it. It's in my mom's handwriting. Very oh, it's in your mom's handwriting. Yes, so I found she... it in her Bible. When I went to That's cool. So where's it going to go? Right on your wrist? My wrist so I can look down at it. And I'm getting it with my sister Kate. She's getting her something. It's sweet. Okay. I'm excited. That's. Uh... I, I got into this new Moxie shirt for my for Father's Day, but um, I it looks a little bit newer than the other one. Yeah, the other one I was going to wear. Yeah, was it's getting worn out, but yeah. you know your mom got it for me. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I got a new one today, but I still have the old one um, from from your mom, and uh, she also got me a little sticker one time that says um, um, "Love Love Wins" or some, something yeah. like that. So. Uh, certainly a person who knows about love, yeah, and uh, I think that's sure. going to be a really nice tattoo. Mm -hmm, yeah, so sure. we'll, maybe we can see a picture of it sometime. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of pictures, we saw your mortar board, but I do have a picture of you right here. Can you tell us about this picture? Of me with the cat? Yeah. yeah. Yes, we went to, um, it was right after I graduated with three people. I picked up my diploma in less than five minutes, got a picture, and we left. We went to Valley Bistro right down the street in Mechanicsburg. Um, 
and I wore my cap and we had a nice lunch. I got chicken and waffles and yeah, it was uh, a good time. It was with the whole family. It's really nice. It's a really nice picture. You look happy. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Well, Caroline, uh, anything else you want to tell us before we uh, close our time together today? No, I don't think so. All right. Thanks for everybody supporting me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, you're like in the midst of some sort of like card shower or something. Card Are you um, getting a yes. bunch of cards? I didn't know about that until my sister until... told me. My sister wasn't even going to tell me about it because I was, I was getting all these cards from people from Campbell Church of God and like Turning Point. And I was like, I mean, talk to these people giving me money oh my gosh that's so sweet and i was telling my sister about it i was like i'm actually getting way more cards than i thought i would especially since everyone's staying at home and she's like i might have done something and i was like oh no what did you do she's like i created an event on facebook blah, blah, blah. and i was like oh my gosh yeah i have to send out like a million thank you cards now so well speaking of cards i think i have another one here i know i, I think rebecca and i sent you a card you did but yes. we have a card here from the church Ooh. It's for you. I may have uh, actually written it upside down. No, it's not upside down. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> All right. Well, I wrote it right side up, but I might have had the card flipped over when I did it. So, um, of course, you know, we wanted to celebrate with our graduating seniors this year yeah. and throw them a little party and stuff, but we weren't able to do that. Yeah. So we have uh, just a very, very small uh, token. You, well, you, you don't have to. Okay. I'll yeah, down, yeah. Uh, just a little small token of our... Uh, Great gratitude and, and yeah. appreciation for you and something you can put towards a book or something. Say at, thank uh, you in advance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would love to pray with you yes. as we close our time together. Okay, All right. perfect. All right. yes. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for Caroline. I thank you for uh, my joy and my family's joy of knowing her for the last 15 years, of knowing um, her mom and dad and her sister and brother and now her extended family too, God. We thank you for that. Lord, we pray for Caroline as she prepares to go off to school and learn about marketing, God. I thank you for her unique uh, personality, her, the gifts that you have given her, the way that you've blessed her, Lord. And I pray that you would watch over her and help her to be successful in the things that she does. And Lord, that you would also use her to be an encouragement into people's lives. That would, you would use her uh, to bring hope and encouragement into places that maybe are, um, are uh, devoid of that. And God, I, I, I pray your power upon her. I pray your blessing upon her. And I pray, Lord, that um, you just will use her for great and mighty things. Be with her family and shower your blessings upon them as well, Lord, as they prepare for um, going back to, for, for going to school this fall and for some of the other uh, members of the family here getting ready to go back to their colleges as well. Just bless them. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight, and thanks for joining Caroline, and uh, you can you can still be praying for her and uh, sending her a card if you want, and just uh, remembering her uh, as she uh, is finishing up this summer and getting ready for Millersville University. Let's go Marauders! <laughs>